their bow. Number one gun, fire! Fire again. Number two gun, fire! You may show them our true colors, Mr. Mannering. Break out the Jolly Roger! We never hear the end of this Captain Blood, this pirate who captures our treasure and our ships. You, my dear Marquis de Reconnette, you, why, why haven't you hanged the scoundrel? Well, Your Majesty, the hanging of one pirate is hardly the answer to our problem. As long as these outlaws are protected in the West Indies by the English. Oh, the English, the English, the ouch! Be careful, you fool. You see, Marquis, it isn't enough that the ruler of Spain be bled by his physician. These buccaneers must bleed our kingdom, too. My Lord Marquis, you are the governor of La Hacha, our most important island possession in the West Indies. You have a galleon of 40 guns. Therefore, we charge you with the personal responsibility of capturing this Captain Blood. I shall do everything in my power, sire. But of course, Your Majesty realizes 
This is no common criminal you send me after. Blood is a learned, intelligent man, a doctor. A doctor? Are the English so healthy that the physicians must turn to piracy for a living? Blood is not English, Your Majesty. It's Irish. I prepared a dossier on the man which I should be pleased to read. Read, read. Peter Blood, born in Ireland, 1658. Bachelor of Medicine, Dublin University, 1680. Arrested by the English for saving the life of a wounded rebel during the Monmouth Rebellion. Rebellion? Oh, oh. Uh, yes, yes, Count Harold, please. Uh, sentenced to death. Sentence later changed to a life of slavery at Barbados. There, uh, he and a group of fellow slaves manage a, a somewhat incredible escape. Uh, that's enough, uh, Count Harold. Well, we offer a reward of 50,000 pieces of eight for the head of this buccaneer. Even an Englishman may find that tempting. If not, I'm sure you, my Lord Marquis, will. Unless this Captain Blood is captured, your wealth and position will be forfeit. Oh, but, sire, you must be... Uh, Captain Alvarado. Sir? You will accompany the Marquis to the Indies and uh, will assume the post of military position. Uh, that is, I mean, of uh, military attaché. Yes, Your Majesty. And uh, you will act as our representative. And we will charge you with the direct responsibility of seeing that our orders are carried out. No sign yet, Peter? No, the beach seems deserted. What time do you make it, Tom? Not an hour left before dawn. We'll have to work fast. Hey, yes. There'll be the devil to pay if the Marquis finds us lying off his island in broad daylight. You still think the signal will come? Of course. Jacob's a man of his word. Besides, we can't leave. We must get supplies and ammunition. There's very little left. We can get what we need in Tortuga? No, it's too far. Besides, I have a taste for shooting at the Spaniards with their own cannonball. Peter, over there. One, two, three. Far away. And I'm enough. Stay here, Scotty. Aye. Where is Pacheco?
Captain Blood! Captain Blood! Captain! Captain! What is it, man? It was a trap, Captain. We were ambushed. Pacheco wasn't there. All the other men were taken prisoner. It's fighting they want. We'll give them a taste of it. But we've little enough powder and ball left as it is. No matter, our men are there. But the Marquis ships within sound of our guns. It's suicide. For us and those men ashore, too. Sure, you're right, Tom. Let's try to get to Tortuga for supplies. All right. You men, take Scotty below. Way anchor. Make sail. Come along, little up. Your Excellency? So, my new slaves are Captain Blood's men, eh? I've been anxious to meet your captain for a long time. Where was he headed for? Well? What's your captain bound for? Where? Where? Perhaps you'll be more talkative after a short while in the pearl fisheries. Take them away. Well, Excellency, didn't I make you a good price for such interesting slaves? Senor Fairfax, your greediness for the sale of a few slaves has cost me a chance to capture your countryman, Captain Blood. But your Excellency, I didn't know it was the Avenger. I'm trying to warn you. By now, Blood is 20 leagues away. In a fast ship, impossible to capture. You will have other chances. Not like this one. Why don't we go ashore? I'm staying aboard. But, Peter, there's nothing we can do to help those men now. Why must you keep thinking about it? What would you have me do, then? Try and forget them. Forget our own men? Slaves of Spain rotting away in the Marquis' dungeons? Do you remember what it was like before we escaped from slavery? The stench of those filthy holes, the swill, the chains rotting away, the flesh from your bones, the whips and the branding irons? Yes, I remember. Don't ask me to forget, then. Captain Blood! Captain Blood! Scotty, if you're in trouble with the father of an oh, it's no me that's in trouble this time. It's the Marquis. What are you talking about? A French ship just arrived from La Hacha. Her mate tells me that that hurricane that's been blowing about hit the Marquis ship and just about ruined her. The Santa Paula? Aye. She's no fit to go to sea again until she's been repaired. Hear that, Tom? We can sail right to the island, and the Marquis couldn't give us a chase. But he's still got a fort, and 50 cannon mounted on the beach. There's no cannon in the cove at the back of the island. All the men aboard? Aye, sir. But, Peter, you can't take the Avenger right into the Marquis' grasp. We'd surely be caught. You're right, Tom. We wouldn't stand a chance. Way anchor! This is the most foolhardy thing you've ever done. Beyond a doubt. Stand by to make sail! We'll end up slaves ourselves. <laughs> You'll probably hang all of us. Set our course for La Hacha, Mr. Mannering. 
Aye, aye, sir. Still dead set against it, Peter. It's too dangerous. This cove's right on the Marquis's back doorstep. Well, where would he be less likely to look for us? What if somebody recognizes you? What if Pacheco sees you? He's betrayed us once already. Pacheco won't betray anybody else. I'll make sure of that while I'm here. How do you propose to get into the town? You can't just walk in, have yourself announced to the Marquis? <laughs> I'll leave that to Lady Chance. She's obliged me more than once. Perhaps she'll oblige me again. I've great faith in the lady. You'll need it. Oh, senor, fruit, fresh fruit. Would you take your pick before I go to La Hacha? No, no. Move on, move on. Wait. Where did you say you were going? To La Hacha, across the island. Where else? There he is, Tom. Who? A messenger from Lady Chance. Will you buy some of my fruit, senor? <laughs> I may buy all of it. Thank you, muchas gracias, senor. Pacheco, Miguel, Miguel, correct me. I have been looking for... Oh, oh, oh. oh, Miguel, you kiss me so good. You are not Miguel. Who are you? Oh, oh, senorita, it's a little late for introductions. <laughs> Why are you wearing Miguel's clothes? And what are you peddling his fruit for? Well, uh, Miguel is, uh, is sick. Sick? See, si, uh, he, uh, he asked me to take his place. Uh, I'm his friend. His friend? What is your name, senor? Pedro. Uh, Pedro Morales. Pedro? That is strange. He's never mentioned you to me. <laughs> well, he has uh, never mentioned you to me either, but uh, <laughs> that is not so strange. What do you mean, senor? Something is wrong? Mm. Oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing. Uh, I can see why Miguel never told me about you, senorita, uh, senorita... Pepita. Ah, Pepita. Pepita Maria Rosados. Pepita Maria Rosados. <laughs> 
The woman is even more lovely than the name. Miguel knew I would be helpless before such beauty. That's why he kept you a secret from me. The senor is very kind. But it's true that Miguel is very fond of me. Oh, oh, oh Pepita, fond of you. It's only because I'm his closest friend that he is so helpless that... Helpless? See, si, completely. It is only because of that that he trusts me alone in the city with you. But uh, I am only human, and you must help me to resist. Don't worry about that, senor. I will help you. But remember, I am only human, too. Peter, si, I, uh, I was seeking early today an old friend of mine, but his shop was deserted. Perhaps you know him. <laughs> I knew all the men in Larcha. What is your friend's name? Pacheco, Fernando Pacheco. Oh, yes, yes, I remember him. He is the thin one. But he left the island yesterday. Left? Oh, no, I'm sure you are mistaken. I'm certain he is still here. I was told he had gone to Portobello. Oh? Who told you this? The overseer, Carmelio. <laughs> but, senor, why worry about old friends? When it is so easy to find new ones. Nacha. <laughs> what is that? Oh, just the slaves. They're on their way back from the Marquis Pearl Fisheries. The ones that are left. The ones that are left? There are few every day. Last week, 34. Yesterday, 32. Today, who knows? What happens to them? What happens to anyone who has to dive for pearls in water filled with sharks? Oh, please excuse me. I forgot. The overseer's wine. Papa! Despierta, papa! Papa! Wake up, papa! Despierta, papa! The senior overseer is here. Siempre estás durmiendo. Must I run this inn all by myself? Es un... Have you no welcome for your friend today? Pablo is bringing it. Pablo. Pablo. Um, now I feel better, my beautiful Pepito. Don't touch! Women, women, they're all the same. If the senior would care for a little more wine, I should be most happy to buy it for him, huh? Another time, I must take those slaves back to the dungeons. This is the day for the Marquis' inspection. Get moving! Are you fit? Get moving! Get moving! Senor. Ah, Pepito, I must go. This is part of the wine, huh? Oh, no, senor. Not from a friend of Miguel. Thank you, senorita. I'll be back. See, si, I know. Why don't you wait in the carriage, Isabelita? It'll only be a few moments. Please don't be too long, Uncle. The sun is very hot. I should be most happy to escort the Senorita back to the Residencia. You don't seem too anxious to inspect the dungeons, Captain. Well, I hardly find them attractive, Excellency. I'm afraid the Captain still judges us by Spanish standards, Isabelita. He forgets we are in a new world, where men live by new laws. Or, uh, or die by them. Come now, Captain. These slaves dive for pearls. 
And pearls are one of the few things that make this dull little colony bearable. Your Excellency, everything is ready for the inspection. Splendid, splendid. And the day's catch. Three pearls, Excellency. Two of fine quality. Uncle, don't you think I deserve some reward for waiting in this heat? <laughs> well, of course, my dear. A small pearl like this for a Marquis's niece, it's fit only for a... for a peddler. <laughs> Excuse me, my dear. Of you, Forgive my hand, senorita. They are not accustomed to pearls. Perhaps you would appreciate them more if you were to die for one yourself. Perhaps. never get away from your uncle. Don't tell me business bores you. By contrast, yes. <laughs> Look, I'm over half finished. How do you like it? It's very charming, my sweet. Oh, George, why don't you take me away from here? Back to Spain, to the court and the life I was meant for. You know I will, Isabelita, as soon as I can. I'm sick to death of my life here. Sewing and embroidery and supervising the kitchen maids and waiting on my uncle and those dull, dull official parties. Ah, see, si, Senora, second assistant clerk. Your new gown is quite, quite ravishing. It's only three years behind the fashion. <laughs> oh, and Senor Plantation Foreman, your little Ramon is so, so unspoiled. <laughs> He thinks nothing of wiping his filthy hands all over the draperies. Oh, George. Don't let's wait any longer. But darling, even if we could get off the island, it would take gold. But I have my jewels. The pearls alone are worth a fortune. But I can't take your money. Don't you see that it means my happiness? Our happiness? You must take them, querido. That's what you really want? Yes, it is. More than anything in the world. Isabelita! Go to your room. But, Uncle, I... Isabelita! Understand, Your Excellency. I. It is bad enough that I should have business dealings with vermin. I don't wish them to infest my family. Senor Fairfax, if you attempt to see my niece again, I shall have the distinct pleasure of watching you being torn apart by the sharks. The bottles must not be broken, huh? See. Si. But you, you break men's hearts. My heart. <laughs> oh, Carmelia. Oh. Pepita. You hold this, Carmelia. Ah, Senor Morales. Good evening, Pepita. Welcome to Venta de Rosados. Whatever you wish is yours. Would you not like a table in the other room? It is much cooler and much more private. <laughs> a little later, perhaps, senorita. First, I must talk with a friend. Oh. Ah, senor. Now, will you allow me the honor of buying you a glass of wine? Well, uh, Pepita, 
Uh, bring us some of your father's best sherry. Si, uh, Pepito. Gracias. Delightful girl, this one. To some people, perhaps. <laughs> Surely, my dear Camillo, a man of your intelligence is not taken in by this little trick of Pepita. You must see what she's trying to do. Trying to do? See, she's, uh, she's using me, as she would any stranger, to make you jealous. Are you sure? Of course. You know, Carmelio, you're quite a catch. I am? Uh, certainly. You have um, authority, uh, position, strength. Your wine, senor. Authority, position, and a strength. And such charming manners. My friend, what woman could resist you? Morales, you're right. It's impossible. She should fall at my feet. I agree with you. Now it's getting late, and don't forget we are going to have our last drink at your place. We are? You promise. I tell you, Pedro, the slaves, they are nothing but trouble. They're lazy. They get sick. They die. They try to escape. How do they get away? They don't. Not from this prison. You should see the dungeons deep on the ground. Seems very interesting. I should like to see them. Without a pass with Marquis Seal, not even the king of Spain can come through that door. Without the seal of the Marquis, not even the king of Spain, huh? <laughs> if it's bad like you say, heaven knows why he should want to. <laughs> Carmelio, huh? Well, it's almost midnight. If you don't want me to see the jazz, I think I'll take my leave. Why don't you have another drink? Oh, excuse me. What's this? It's nothing. It's just a keepsake. Let me see it. It's nothing, I tell you. I'll say, let me see it. Where did you get that? It was given me today by a friend. His name was Fernando Pacheco. But, uh... But Pacheco is dead, huh? I know. You might say he bequeathed it to me. It was in his hand when I found him. I don't know this Pacheco. I made a mistake about this medallion. It looks like something else. Does it? Mm-hmm. Buenas noches, senor. Buenas noches. Thanks for your hospitality. A man like you doesn't come to La Hacha only to sell fruit. Why you don't tell Pepito your real reason for being here? I have told you. Lies. Lies. Nothing but lies. If you were really a fruit peddler, people would not be asking questions about you. About me? Who has been asking about me, Pepito? You don't answer my questions, senor. Why should I answer yours? Well, you are my friend, little one. You must trust me. Have faith. Let go, senor, or I'll awaken papa. Please, senor. Stop it, senor. Papa. Oh, papa. Oh, senor. Oh, senor. Stop it. It is 
too late to stop Senorita. From the first moment we met, it was too late. You're lying to me again, I know. Does this seem like a lie, Senorita? Oh, lie to me some more, Senor. First, you must tell me who was asking questions. It was only the overseer. But let us not talk about him now. Let us... What, uh, what did the overseer want, Pepita? Just to know who you are and what you are doing in Larcha. Was that all? See? Si. Now, I have told you my secret. You must tell me yours. Of course. But not tonight. It is too late. If you do not trust me, oh, Senor. I trust you, Pepita. But I told you before, I do not trust myself. Pedro, you, you're not going to go. Si. But I thought... Adios, little boy. Have you lost something, senores? No, senor. We have found what we lost. That is good. <laughs> Whoever your master is, he could have taught you to be a little more polite. Noches, senor. <sighs> Nothing like a long nap after a strenuous exercise. But uh, it was quite unnecessary for your uh, associates to go to so much trouble to bring me here. After all, I am just as anxious to make your acquaintance as you are to make mine, senor. Uh, senor. Uh... My name is George Fairfax. In my line of work, one can't be too careful. And. Uh, what exactly is your line of work, senor? What are you doing in Larcher, senor Morales? I sell fruit. persimmons, mangoes, pomegranates. And is that all you have for sale? Everything. I'm afraid we can't do business after all. Oh, then if the senor will excuse me, I will... Well, sit down, Morales. You were a stranger in Larcher, my friend, and perhaps you're not aware that the laws here are very strict. For instance, the penalty for robbery is death. For example, suppose you were to have stolen something of mine, a ring, say, or a timepiece, or a medallion. And were you to be caught with it in your possession, I could have you hanged. It's a very harsh law, sometimes a useful one. And uh, what is the penalty for murder in La Hacha? Well, that depends on whether or not the murderer is caught. For example, there was a regrettable death of a local shopkeeper, a ship's chandler, just yesterday. Poor fellow, he became too talkative. And yet there have been almost no questions about his death, and I do not think there will be any. Incidentally, if I should shoot a robber in my quarters, and he happened to be armed, there'd be even less trouble with the authorities. And how would I be expected to know that he was holding an unloaded pistol? This one, however, is loaded. Is 
Lolita, what are you doing here? George, we must leave Larcher now, tonight. We can't. The Santa Paul is ready to sail. She wasn't as badly damaged as they thought. And the Marquis doesn't trust his niece alone in the city. Tomorrow morning, I'm being sent to a convent. I'm sorry, Isabelita, but I don't see how we can possibly... But we must, we must. Look, these will buy us a boat and whatever else we need. Please, George, please. All right. All right, we'll leave. Our orders are to return the senorita to the residencia, at the place you want to arrest. And my sword? Si, senor. Very well. Come and take it. coming up the stairs. before those four guards are replaced by 40. I know a place near the quay where we'll be safe. you six inches nearer to your right, you'd have been lying in a different kind of bed. As it is, you will be well enough to fight another duel tomorrow. Open up! Open up, I say! Open in the name of the Marquis! It, 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 it's the guard. I know that. I've got to let them in or they'll break in. I'm aware of that too, Senor Bragg. for the night. We do not want your rotten liquor, innkeeper. We're hunting for the Marquis' niece and two men who attacked our guard. The Marquis' niece in Billy Bragg's place. <laughs> That's a rich one. We're searching everywhere. The Marquis' orders. Upstairs, go. Gentlemen, please walk quiet. My customers are asleep. Oh, oh no, no, Lieutenant. Not in there, please. Stand to one side, innkeeper. Fuera, fuera, fresco! What do you mean, bursting into my, my private room? Wake up! My, my husband, get out! Get out, you filthy pig! Get out, you pig! Pig! Oh! Any more? 
ballroom. Would you like to see, Lieutenant? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no fine ladies at Billy Bragg's, you know. This being a soldier is a risky business, ain't it? See, you speak the truth. Yeah. Come along, men. Come Where on. Where's Notches? Same to you, sir. All clear, Mr. Fairfax. Uh -huh, Senor Bragg. The world lost an honest actor when you turned rogue. You are a man of many talents. That I am, sir. <laughs> this is a night for genius, Senor Morales. An innkeeper turned actor, and a fruit peddler who was both doctor and fencing master. You seem to forget, Senor Fairfax, that you owe me your life. A debt I may later wish to collect. At your service. George! Senor Morales, we're deeply grateful to you. Both of us. Yes, how can we ever repay you? Well, what did you do with my jewels? I do with them. I never had them. I must have left them on the key. I remember now I put them down when you were wounded. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? You spill jewels worth 30,000 doubloons in the dirt and say it doesn't matter? Yes, George. You're right. My jewels do matter. They matter a great deal. You see, Querido, I wanted to go to Spain with you. But without my jewels, we'd be paupers, wouldn't we? And that would be frightful, wouldn't it? Yes, Billy, to stop it. I didn't mean... I know exactly what you meant. But, Isabelita... You should rest, senor. Perhaps you would like a glass of wine. No, no. Pardon me if I get one for myself. Bragg, stay with the senor. Perhaps he might need something. Aye, aye, sir. Is this by any chance what you were missing, senorita? I uh, <laughs> found it on the key. Gracias, senor. Now, uh, now everything is all right, huh? You and senor Fairfax can elope. You deliberately hid my jewels. You wanted me to quarrel with George. Of course I did. Why? Are you in love with him? I... I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I suppose I thought he'd take me away from this horrible place. It's unfortunate you picked the wrong man. I could have told you that. You? What would a fruit peddler know about? Or are you a peddler, senor? You no longer talk like one. Who are you? At the moment, I find it convenient to be a peddler. My uncle would have ways of discovering your true identity. I don't doubt it for a minute. But, uh, but if he were to take up my time, how could I be of service to you? Service? Yes. I've had business dealings with Mr. Fairfax, and I began to suspect his true nature. So I left my ship in the cove on the other side of the island and came here in disguise to, uh, to, uh... Shall we say investigate? And what has all this got to do with me? Well, you're anxious to leave Lacha, and I have a boat, so... Uh... You could take me away from the island. To Maracaibo. Or Porto, Spain. Why not? Oh, senor. How can I ever thank you enough? Well, uh, you might try throwing me another pearl. I suppose I do deserve that. You'll not let this one slip through your fingers. Have no fear. I didn't know you then, or I'd have been more careful. You're gallant, whoever you are. <laughs> In my fashion. Now I'll send you back to the residential. As it is, if we were to set foot on the waterfront, the guards would send you back to the Marquis and me to the pearl fisheries. You must go back to your uncle at once. But what can I say to him? He'll send me to the convent. Not if you were to tell him that you've discovered Mr. Fairfax's true colors. Beg him to forgive you and pardon the poor fruit peddler. Yes. Yes, of course. I'll come to the residence here tomorrow for the pardon. And if it's safe, we can go. Very well. I trust you. I know nothing about you, and yet I do trust you. Perhaps because you have no choice. Oh, I don't know. You are different. You save a man's life or, or take it, like that. Perhaps I'm not so different. You said yourself you know nothing about me. How much do I need to know? Doctor? Swordsman? 
I got it. Port Royal, Tortuga. That's who he is. Captain Blood. Blood? Hi. Billy Bragg still got his two eyes, hasn't he? How come you're traveling with him, Mr. Fairfax, and don't know? A reward of 50,000 pieces of eight. Billy Bragg, we've turned some good deals in our time. This is the biggest one of all. Get to the Marquis as fast as you can. Bragg, I have something for you to do. You will take the senorita to the residencia. But I can't leave, sir. I... Go along, Billy. Go to the residencia. I'll be all right. You'll stay here with me, won't you, Senor Morales? You may be sure of that, Senor. Senorita, she is safe at home? Aye, sir. But I've got something more important to tell you, Captain Blood. <laughs> oh, dear. I met you in Tortuga, Captain. Red Lion Tavern. You remember Billy Bragg? Bragg? I, I, I know I've put on a, a bit of weight, but you remember Billy Bragg. Oh, yes. Billy Bragg. I finally stole enough money to get a place of my own. Well, if you're charging for these accommodations, you're still engaged in piracy. Leastwise, Captain, I'm too much of a buccaneer to ever turn informer. I've not accused you of it. Aye, but your friend Mr. Fairfax put me up to it. That's why he wanted me to go with the girl, so I'd turn you in and we'd split the reward. That adds another count against him. Another? Yes. He murdered a man who used to supply us. And sold six of my crew into slavery. Would you like me to dispose of this Fairfax, Captain? Not yet. I may have use for him. The Avengers on the far side of the island. I may be back for friend Fairfax before we sail. He'll be here. Now I must surrender myself to the Marquis. What? Oh, not as Peter Blood, but as a as a fruit peddler who served the Marquis's niece and who uh, who earned her confidence. Why take such a risk, Captain? Billy, if I'm to get my men out of prison, I must first get myself into the residencia. Pedro Morales. Morales. Excellency. So, my niece tells me that you have proved an invaluable friend. The senorita is most generous, Excellency. Uh, perhaps. And yet I can't help wondering if she might not have been returned to the residencia without your invaluable assistance. And without costing me the lives of my guard. I apologize for my enthusiasm, Excellency. However, you have been of some assistance. You are free to go. Gracias. Uh, Morales, in the future, try to curb your enthusiasms. At another time, you may not find me so lenient. Excellency. If your Excellency will seal the order for the prisoner's release. This is the wrong seal. The square one is the order for release. Pardon, Excellency.
you a murderer as well as a thief, senor? It's hardly murder. I was watching you from the corridor. Oh. Why did you steal from the courtroom? Well, I, I took a pass to, to help us escape. Us? I'm not as stupid as that. You were planning to leave without me. Well, this is hardly the place to explain. Come with me and I... I'm not going anywhere. And neither are you. There are guards to prevent that. Senorita, wait. You're right. I wasn't going to take you with me. I told you I was. I'd have a chance to steal this purse. You must believe me. I only came here to help some friends escape from Larcher. I've listened to enough of your stories. You can tell this one to my uncle. He may be more interested than I. Wait, please. Isabelita, you want to leave this island. Then think of my friends in the dungeons. Compare your reasons for escape with those of men living in slavery. And you came here to help criminals escape? They're not criminals. They're men who were trapped and sold into slavery by your friend Fairfax. I know what it's like to be an innocent man and live as a prisoner. I was a slave once myself. And there was no reason for that? No reason except as a doctor I treated a dying patient. For that I was sentenced to a life of slavery. I felt the whips and knew the weights of those chains and asked no favors. You're asking one now? Not for myself. You may have many reasons for hating me. I don't blame you. But you can't hate the men I want to help. Did you really think I'd be moved by all this? Yes, I did. Why are you out here? It was stifling inside. I... I wanted some air. You'd better go to your room. You might catch a chill. Yes, all right. I'll come in. So, you're going to go away. You're going to leave Larcher. Perhaps I am. Perhaps I may never leave. That is true. You may never leave if you do not let me help you. What do you mean? Carmelio, the overseer, has told me he would like to kill you. Carmelio, huh? Possibly I do need your help, Pepita. Si. Perhaps I need your help very much. We will be partners, huh? You and I. Oh, no, 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 senor. I will not be a fool again. I will make you rich. No, I tell you, I won't. Hurry. Here. The rest is for you. For one little favor. There is something I want you to do for me. Of course. From now on, we live only for each other. Your friend Carmelio. Oh, Carmelio, I forgot about Carmelio. Peter, tonight I don't want you to forget about him. So? I won't forget about him, partner. You know, Carmelio? What? I think you have the most beautiful hair in all of Lacha. You do? Si, I do. You love me? Oh, si, very much, Carmelio. <laughs> <laughs> if you love me, why are you always making fun of me? Oh, my silly little blockhead. How else would Papito fool them? If, uh, if Papa knew how much I loved you, he would lock me in the cellar nights. I would much rather be here with you. Don't you like that, Caramelio? Yes, <laughs> very much. <laughs> but it's against the regulations. Regulations? What do we care about regulations? <laughs> <laughs> Official business. Orders from the Marquis. <laughs> well, my little one, I'll leave you now to inspect the guard. But I'm coming back. Oh, Carmelio, there is no hurry. Is there? Oh, no, there is no glory. <laughs> <laughs>
Lieutenant. The Lieutenant has an order for the release of the six pirates. Take him to the Lord Dungeon. This way, Lieutenant. Camillo! Senor Camillo! What did you want? A man has come from the Marquis with a purchase order for the release of six slaves. What do you buy me with it? Go away! But, Senor, it is stamped with the wrong seal. Step and I'll take that step, Captain. Stay here. Thank you. 
and four men. Go this way. The rest follow me. Tell you later, Pepita. Now, please go away. We go together, partner. You there, wait. I told you to go away. Don't worry, I fix. I fix. Listen, fruit peddler. Did... Lieutenant, this is my friend. Don't you remember me? Pepita? Pepita Maria Rosados? The night of the fiesta in the garden. Oh, Pepita. Hey. Yes, yes, I remember. <laughs> We are searching for some escaped slaves. I had to meet Pedro, but I was a little late. So we know nothing about escaped slaves. My apologies. Oh, that's all right, Lieutenant. Oh, Lieutenant, would you care for some fruit? No, thanks. I have no time. A melon, perhaps? Some other time. The melons are very good. Ah! Pedro, how many times must I tell you? No, 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 no. <laughs> Go away, Pepita. You'll get me into trouble. Oh, no. Pepita will get you out of trouble, partner. So, my guards have begun to smoke the rats out of their holes. They're to be hanged, Captain Alvarado. Yes, Excellency. One moment, Your Excellency. I should like a sporting chance. I have no time to waste, senor. The stakes are good. My neck against an opportunity to capture Peter Blood. If you find the fruit peddler who released the slaves, you'll have no reason to set sail tomorrow. Because he is Captain Blood. Why should I believe you? The only slaves who were freed were men from his ship, the Avenger. Very well, Fairfax. You win. You may keep your neck. Provided, of course, you can tell me where blood is now. I'm afraid I can't tell you. But I'm sure there's someone here who can. You have only to say where blood is. Stop it. You're wasting your time, Uncle. If you want to know where blood is, release him and I'll tell you. You? Yes. Well, please forgive the oversight. His ship was anchored in the cove on the other side of the island. Are you sure? He told me himself. Fine, Captain Valdez. The Santa Paula will sail at once. Yes, Excellency. It's already too late, Uncle. By now, Blood's ship will be far out to sea. One moment, Excellency. Blood can hardly change the tides. If his ship wasn't, the cove is still there, waiting to get over the shallows. And it will be three hours before the tide will permit him to sail. Senor Fairfax, apparently you are still of value. We will reach the cove in two hours. Get a guard. Have him taken to the prison. Isabelita, whether you intended it or not, you too have been of service. Oh, thank you, my lady. But you shouldn't have told him. I told him where blood was because I wanted them to catch him. Because you thought the captain had already sailed. You're in love with him, aren't you? In love with a... with a pirate? Cutthroat, a liar and a cheat? You're wrong, my lady. You're wrong. He may not have told you all about himself, but what he told you was true. Every word of it. Let's hurry, Billy Brad. <laughs> Captain Valdez, weigh anchor. Get it away immediately. Your Excellency. Hands! Stand by to make sail! Horses and topsails! Help, midships! Jonesy a drink. Ah, he looks like he needs one. Warm your insides up. 
They're warming up. <laughs> Miguel, this should be enough to pay for the use of your card. Anytime I can be of service, Senor Capitan Blood. Capitan? Capitan Blood? I've got a surprise for you. Look. What is it? Curtains. They're for our cabin. Don't you like them? Yes, very much. I'm so glad, Pedro. Miguel, the use of your cart was worth more than gold. Much more. Here's your final payment. <laughs> Peter, here's the rest of what I promised you. With regrets, I dissolve our partnership. Oh, Miguel. You only knew how much I worried about you. you ever find time to save anybody? Carter, bring them back with you. Aye, aye, sir. Pull away. Peter, I'm frightened. Uh, don't be, Isabelita. Lady Chance is still with us. Santa Paula's not in sight yet. In a few minutes more, we'll head for open sea. How's the tide? Up about a foot. Up about a foot. We may scrape the barnacles off going over. That's better than letting the Santa Paula blow us to our graves. We'll make a run for it. You have to go ashore now. Peter, I... I don't want to go ashore. You must. It's no use, Tom. The Santa Paula has 40 cannon to our 12. There's only one chance left for us. position is hopeless. Captain Valdez, attack at once. Larboard guns, prepare to fire. They're in firing position now.
gun spiker in Scotland. In the whole world? Just let them try to fire this one. We'll give them another one for luck. <laughs> now for the flag. Accept the surrender of Captain Blood personally. Yes, Your Excellency. Well, the Marquis and his men are busy accepting my surrender aboard the Avenger. We'll swim out to his ship and surprise what's left of his crew. Aye. Not a soul aboard. What are you waiting for? Fire on them! But your excellency... Quickly, you idiot! Yes, your excellency. Bomb gun crews, prepare for action! They've spiked this cannon, your excellency. one they missed. You have your orders. Fire! kind of surgery I'll be performing tonight, Mr. Fairfax. Look to your own wounds, Dr. Peter Blood. I will. Thank you. 
served us well, Tom. I'll not sink her, just stop her. Put a shot through her sails. Number two gun ready. Put a shot through her sails. Midships. Aim for the powder magazine. Give her a broadside as she closes. Now, but broadside ready. Fire! Lost our ship and taken yours, and we intend to keep her. We're freebooters and privateers with no land of our own. But we fight for something more precious than land. Freedom. And what of our freedom, Captain? Captain Alvarado, I'll exchange your lives for the lives of the slaves that are still in the dungeons. Gladly. You have my word. And the senorita has promised, with the influence of her family, to help me bring a new government to La Archa. Senorita? I thought you told me you were going to Spain. 
No, senor. I did not tell you that. Only yesterday you said that Yesterday. It... Yesterday, a Marquis's niece met a fruit peddler. Today, that fruit peddler no longer exists. And neither does that selfish girl. But why do you want to stay here? Because I've learned that this is where I belong. This is where I'm needed. I like this new girl better than the one I talked to yesterday. I'm not sorry she's gone. Neither am I. And this fruit peddler, will you miss him? Yes, Peter, I'll miss him. Billy Bragg. Hi, hi, sir. Take the senorita ashore and stay with her. But I'm sailing with you, sir. Have you forgotten the oath? No, and don't you forget it either. I think I'd trust her with anybody but one of my own men? I see. I'll be checking on you, Billy. Because one of these days, Lady Chance will bring me back to Larcher. Orders is orders, sir. You can always depend on Billy Bragg, sir. This way, my lady. The boat, men. Let's put the seat on. Aye, aye, sir. All hands stand by to make sail. 